Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. So in this video, we will see how the Elementor Pro contact form works. If your theme comes with the Elementor Pro plugin, then you can use the built-in contact form that comes with the Elementor Pro plugin. Or if you already have Elementor Pro plugin installed on your website, then you can use this built-in contact form. Definitely you can use the other contact form plugins such as Contact Form 7, Caldera Forms, WP Forms, Ninja Forms. However, if you already have Elementor Pro, then you do not need to install a third-party plugin just to add contact form on your website. So let's see what are the fields and what are the features of this Elementor Pro contact form. So I'm already logged into the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor Pro plugin on this website. So let's try to add a contact form using Elementor Pro. So this is a sample page. So let me edit with Elementor. So on this sample page, we are going to install this new contact form. So let's add a section. So let's use this section. Let's add some padding. Right now here we are going to use contact form. So these are the basic features. All these basic features and under pro features, you will see contact form here. Drag and drop it or if you don't, do not find it, you can simply type in form and you will see this form. On this website, I have WP forms installed also, so I see this option here. However, this is the Elementor Pro contact form. So let's drag it and drop it here. So this is the contact form and you will see different fields here. So you can see this is the text field and you will see other fields here. Text, email, text area, URL, telephone, radio. Radio is the select, the radio select button. This is the drop down, this checkbox, acceptance, number, date, time, file upload, password, HTML, hidden, step, recapture. You can also use recapture version 2, version 3, and honeypot. So these are the all fields that come with the contact form, the Elementor contact form. You can see that this is the name. So let's change it to first name. Now you can resize also. So let's say it shows column width is 100%. So let's change it to 50%. And if you want to add more fill, you can simply copy this one. And let's make it last name. Okay, so you can see this is the placeholder. So copy and paste it here. Add the placeholder here also, first name. So you can see that we have divided these two fields into columns so instead of 100 percent we are using 50 percent now here if you want to hide these labels you can check this box uncheck this box and you will see the labels are gone all right so this is how you can hide the labels so let's try adding some more fields so this is the email field let's uh, add item that will be say telephone so from the drop down select telephone and label will be phone number and let's use the same placeholder here now if you want to make it required then check this box or just enable required so people will have to enter something enter their phone number here otherwise the form will not complete it will not submit the form now you can move it up so it's simply click on it and drag it and drop here so it will change the place and the message will come down now let's try adding some other field let's add the drop down that will be select let's add favorite color okay now in the drop down type in the options here red then enter then green yellow blue all right and if you want to make it required just check this and it will be required let's drop it up move it up now here you can see that this is a drop down box let's add one more field here let's use checkbox let's say car type and here add bus and let's say car uh, truck whatever fields you want to add you can simply 
enter and add the field there all right inline list if you check this it will right now you see these are one by one if you check it you will see that side by side so this will be inline list okay so leave it on inline list let's move it up all right now let's try adding one more let's see date label will be date and let's say select date and make it require if you want to add minimum date you can select from here maximum date you can select from here just uh, leave it as it is and just move it up now let's see how does this work yeah when you when you click on it you will see this date picker so you can select the date and it will show here let's try to add another field let's try this uh, file upload okay so just name it upload file and make it required and here you can limit the size so if you limit to 5 MB people will not be able to upload more than 5 MB file and allow type files if you want to make them specific type files then you can enter the JPG PNG DOC doc or PDF file so these files will only be allowed and multiple files if you want you can select this and number of files so they will be able to upload two files all right so right now just make it no all right now let's move it up okay now let's see other fields this is the input size small medium or let's say large so you will see the the form size has been changed so let's make it medium size this input field size has been changed now required mark so let's see so if you if you make it show you will see these asterisks the red color dots the stars here it will tell the customer that these fields are required so you can make it show always okay now this is for the buttons okay this, this is the button the submit button let's make it medium size and you will see this size change column width let's make it 50 percent or let's leave it on 100 percent so it will be full width next button previous button and this is the send so let's change it to submit all right and you will see it submit here all right we can style it and we will also see how to use the recapture this is the other option actions after submit so this will tell what to do after someone submits the form so collect the submission and email so after submitting the file or after submitting the form it will go to the submission section of the elementor so you can go to the dashboard and under elementor you will see submissions option here all right so all the entries will be shown here also okay so here you will see all the forms submitted okay now the next option is email you will see it here email so this will be the address the two address where the email will go so let's enter your email address where you want these information to come so after submitting the form the email will be sent to this email address and this will be the subject and this is all field so all the information will go to this email address and it will show from email if you want to change it you can change it the name and reply to is email field so there will be reply to this is the email field so it will send a reply to this email okay now meta tags if you want you can leave it as it is okay now here I, under actions after submit let's see what other options are here if you click on plus sign you will see other options let's say redirect so when you select the redirect you will see the option here to redirect you can mention a link here so after submitting the form it will go to that link the customer will be redirected to this link so in this case when they submit it will go to the home page of this website Okay, let's see what other options are here so actions after submit email email to email is already added redirect webhook mailchimp active campaign get response so these are all advanced 
uh, fields if you want to try you can try these fields also so step settings additional options if you want you can add the id for the form let's see this is the name of the form let's see here is the name of the form okay let's make it change the name to sample form so this will be the name of this particular form okay so this is all about the form fields now let's go to the style option and this is the column gaps i think the default values are good so let's not change it if you want you can change them this is the style for the field typography if you want to change the font text color you can change it from here this is for the buttons you can change the button color you can see that the change has been done color has been changed so from here you can change the color of the form messages this is the color for the messages steps the style for the steps All right so this is how you can ch change the style of this form now let's go to the advanced this is uh, just nothing but the style again okay now let's see how we can add the recapture to the contact form okay so this is the recapture keys i already have the keys of this recapture if you do not have you can go to google.com recapture from there you can add your domain and get the recapture keys so i already have the recapture keys so let's go to the dashboard then go to elementor and then go to elementor settings okay now here you will see the option integrations go to integrations now here are the keys site key so you will see this option recapture site key and secret key so copy the site key and secret key copy it site key enter the site key and copy the secret key enter the secret key so we got both the secret keys here let's save the changes okay now let's go back to the content form here we are going to add the recapture option so click on add field add item and from here select recapture let's name it as recapture okay now move it up recapture normal size light size these are the option normal or compact let's change it to compact style will be let's change it to dark okay right now it shows that to use recapture you need to add the api keys which we have already done so let's update it and let's refresh this page let's click on it and go to view page and now here you will see that the recapture is actually working All right so let's uh, go ahead and change the style of the recapture let's uh, change it to light and make it normal and click update all right you can see that the recapture is working here so let's refresh this page now all right so the recapture is working now here is the form the first name last name email phone number the color the, this is the drop down box this is check mark this is the date picker and this is the file upload and this is the capture let's change the position of the capture should be at the end Okay, now updated. All right, so the recapture is at the end. So this is how you can use the contact form that is built in into the Elementor Pro plugin. So if you do not need any advanced form, then you can definitely use this built-in contact form that comes with the Elementor Pro. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.